we are going to add teeth, but we'll actually add teeth on top after we cover the cake with the fondant. Same with the, the eyes, the pupils in the eyes. What I like to do is I came up here and so I kind of scrunched it a little in here and then wider here and here. Okay, bottom part, um, more of a cord that's going to go all the way from here down to the other side. going just a little lower in the middle and then kind of back up here on the sides. Okay, and then we can just do a few little cords going this way. Yeah, got to really use the knife for this. And I can just kind of cut some of these here because they're so short. Just a little longer. Okay, and I think I'll stop there. Okay, now what I like to do is actually go ahead and pop this in um, either the refrigerator or the freezer. Um, I'm going to just pop it in the freezer so it'll be quicker um, so it sets up because when I roll out the fondant, place it over the cake, I don't want all this. I don't want it to move around on me too much, so it's just going to help if the, if the frosting's just a little bit set up. You don't want to leave it in there too long because then when you go to, what we're going to do later is we're going to paint this with food color, um, there will be too much condensation coming out of the cake. So um, <clears throat> just for like uh, maybe 15 minutes max in the freezer. Refrigerator, if you don't have room in your freezer and you're doing the refrigerator, then maybe 20, 25 minutes. Okay, so we'll be back in a few.